Hello guys and welcome to my first tutorial. Um, this tutorial series is going to be about uh, how to create a, a platformer um, just like in uh, my dwarf game. So everything we do in this tutorial is the way I do it. It may not be the best way but it uh, at least it works for me. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, this tutorial series is for uh, I expect you uh, you know uh, how to navigate in Unity and have at least some knowledge in C uh, programming in Unity and know your way around in uh, in the program. So first off, in this tutorial, we are going to create our animations. Um, so I have some tutorial files, um, which is uh, a sprite sheet with some sprites I got from uh, OpenGameArt.org. I think um, I'll leave a link uh, leave a link in the description so you can download it. And then I made um, some ground. Um, so let's just create a folder called graphics, and let's import our files just by dragging them in like this so first off the ground um so over here you can see it's a sprite and uh, it is a sprite so just leave it like that and it is a single sprite and i'll set the pixels to unit to 18 um and filter mode to point so uh, it has sharp edges so we can see uh, the pixels so it isn't uh, all blurry when we said so billionaire or trillionaire um, so format true color and uh, max size just leave it like that um, there we go and then we can simply drag the ground into a scene and it looks like this um, so it needs some colliders so our player can stand on it um so let's create that uh, at, well oh uh let's put uh, a small box collider oh you know what uh let's create two empty game objects with uh, colliders on them. So create an empty game object, go to physics, 2D and create a box collider and then we can just scale it up so it matches the, the ground. Um. This is a pretty weird sprite I made so it is, a, it is a little bit hard to create colliders for it, but we'll do it anyway, so there we go, and the last one for this small part right here. That's that looks fine. Um, just this one is a little bit too long. There we go. <laughs> um, so let's just duplicate it by pressing Control and D, and uh, let's move it over here and flip it by uh, instead of uh, one on the x-axis, let's uh, minus one. So we flip it, and there we go. And here we have our level. Um, so just save the scene by pressing Control S. Just going to create a new folder called Scenes. And uh, main testing ground. And there was a typo. That doesn't matter. Um, so now we are going to create our uh character so over here you can see it has multiple sprites 
So we are going to set the sprite mode to multiple and set the pixels per unit to 18 again and set it to point. Just leave generate mipmaps. I don't really know what it is. It doesn't really matter. To true color and apply. And now we are going into the sprite editor. So in here you can see we have our sprites and then we can slice them up so we get individual sprites. Slice and there we go. Now we have uh, every single uh, sprite made. So over here you can see we have 29 sprites. So the ones we are going to use is um, the idle one, which is this one. You can see he just stands. Um, so we are going to create some animations. The first animation we are going to make is um, the idle animation. Um, so the way you open this animation uh, window is by going to window, animation, and now we are going to create our idle animation. So let's create a new folder it's called animations. Let's go into it and call this idle idle uh, underscore player or maybe player underscore idle uh, it doesn't really matter what you call it um, just make sure you know which animation is which um, so um, for the idle animation we are going to use um, I guess this one and this one uh, so it looks like he he's breathing or, or something. Um, so just put number two in here and number three and number two in again. Then we have a simple animation that looks like uh or maybe we should uh, just look at it like this. Um, maybe we should switch these just to leave those. So we have this confusing. Um, we have the third sprite on here, and then we're gonna put the second in, and then this third sprite in again. And now we have our idle animation. It looks like this. Which is really simple and it's quite nice. Um, so now we are going to create our uh, walking animation. Uh, what? <laughs> Play player walk, I mean. There we go. Um, so for this animation we are going to use, um, I guess this is the first and to this one, this is the walking animation. Um, so put number 6 in, 7, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11. Um, so we have a simple walking animation it's a little bit slow so let's move them tighter together there we go and there we have uh, um, a simple animation um, you can play around with it so it looks better um, so yeah, um, we are just going to rename our sprite to player and uh, add a collider to it so it collides with the ground and let's add a rigid body so it uh, is affected by physics and let's set it to fixed angle so it doesn't uh, rotate. 
so in the next video we are going to create the uh, script for the player so it can move around um, so this was just a setup so we can program in the next episode of this tutorial so I am just going to say that's all and thank you for watching Oh, oh, oh.